better than doing nothing to keep me busy all day. Uncle Woody! Uncle Woody, wake up! Uncle Woody, can we take a boat ride? Can we? Can we? Please! It's right over there! Captain Buzz's all-day boat tours. Real cheap. Oh, <laughs> you bet you can. What's the deal on the tub, bub? Well, chum, for a small fee of, shall we say, 50 bucks, I'll take these two on a cruise they'll never forget. 50 bucks? And, uh, did I mention I'd be taking the kids off your hands for the whole day? A whole day, huh? Hmm. It's a steal. I mean a deal. Thanks, Uncle Woody. See ya. Rest and relaxation, here I come. <laughs> and little woodpeckers, there you go. So long, suckers. <laughs> wait for us, Captain Buzz. Uh, here, wait up. All right. <laughs> 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 so I'm the captain of this here boat. Aye, aye, captain. What's our first order, sir? Oh, yeah. I'm feeling chilly. Get me my coat. <laughs> hey, maybe this ain't gonna be so bad after all. Now swap the deck. Ah, uh, there's no mop, Captain Buzz. A good sailor learns how to make do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a life. Oh, cabin kids! I'd like my sushi now. Oh, I hate being a bait. <laughs> being the bait's better than being the sushi. <laughs> Cruise stinks. It could be worse. How? We could be caught in a horrible storm. Uh, is he okay? Yeah, just let him sleep. So what do we do now? I know, I know, I know. Let's build a two-man shelter to protect us from wild animals. Yeah, just like we learned in Woodpecker Scouts. What about him? I say he's on his own. Yeah. Me? <laughs> What's that? Who? Oh, where am I? Mommy! <laughs> Who is it? Um, it's Captain Buzz. Toss me down a line, sailors. Only holds two. Sleep tight. Don't, Don't let, let the mountain lions bite. Mountain lions. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, this is good. Hi <laughs> ho, oh, kids. What's on the menu for breakfast? <laughs> You got a fish for your own food, Captain Buzz. Uh, let me use one for bait, then? <laughs> Can't be wasting precious food for bait. Gotta use yourself for bait. What? Forget about it. <laughs> I'll get my food somewhere else. <laughs> I can just... All right, all right. I'll be the bait. Oh, whoa, 
have the clams marinara, please? Bucks. Nah, I'm here for Leadfoot. Now pay me 20 bucks. <laughs> wow, we a 12 turbo engine with all the bells and whistles. <laughs> I'll grip the track tighter than a grandma pinching cheeks on Christmas. Sounds like you know your cars, Woody. Ah, you don't know squat, Woodpecker. That car's a hunk of junk. And Leadfoot couldn't drive his way out of a parking lot. Oh, no! What have I done? Tough break, dead foot. Show that motorhead nobody messes with the beak. Let me make this up to you, Leadfoot, by driving for you. Well, you sure do know a lot about cars. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, if you could just keep the pole position, maybe my car's undefeated record could stand another day. <laughs> Gentlemen, it looks like the race has a new driver, rookie racer Woody Woodpecker. He's behind the wheel of the legendary, now newly painted car number nine. Huh? Hey, that car has fleas, and 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 that driver, he ain't even got his learner's permission. Oh, that's no fair! I wasn't ready. The Cross City Challenge. I look my best in the lead. Oh, actually, I look my best in a televised interview. <laughs> well, you see, when I was young, I had a really traumatic old, like, childhood and whatnot, which is, of course, what has pushed me to be as fast and articulated as I am today, you know what I'm saying? Regulation racing to me. Hey! Get back here! Gotcha! And goodbye! <laughs> 
<laughs> Enjoy hanging out. Ooh, it looks like Woody Woodpecker is out of the lead indefinitely. Go, Dooley, go. Go, Dooley, go. He's me. He's me. Who's the man? Who's the man? I guess that would be me. Uh-huh. My streak is lost. <laughs> Lightfoot, I'm not gonna let you down. Over the river and through the woods, the shortcut the louse we go. <laughs> what? A toe booth? One buck to use the bridge, bub. That's my last buck! I'll also need a smog toll. Your clothing, tire toll, your tires, speeding toll, your engine block, the deed to your house, your false teeth, and the film rights to your life story. All righty then. <laughs> hey, you didn't say please. Please? Now can I cross the bridge to get to the other side? Sorry, friendo. No shirt, no shoes, no service. What's it take to get rid of this? Ah! <laughs> Here they come down the straightaway, and I wonder who. Whoa! <laughs> Holy backseat drivers! Left foot is back behind the wheel. More or less. Okay, boys, the boss wants us to hit it into reverse. But what's this? It looks like Leadfoot can't get his car across the finish line. <laughs> what a finish! Leadfoot and Woody Woodpecker have done it. Car number nine streak is headed for the record books. But this is a tragedy. I was tricked and wronged in false and befouling ways. Well, we did it, Woody. Boy, howdy. We kept number nine streak alive. <laughs> yee <-haw! laughs> <laughs> waiting all year for this. The World Championship West Lapland Dog and Crayfish Show. Now, let's see if I've got everything. Chips, soda, water, fruit smoothie, ice mango surprise, peanut butter crackers, T-bone steak, microwavable cheesy wheeze, fan, heater, room theater, pillow, blanket, beak warmer. Perfect. Ah, everything I need for complete comfort. Hmm. Huh? Ow! It's just a feather. to the 357th annual West Lapland Dog and Crayfish Show. Talk about perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
right. That's it, Buster. <laughs> now I can just go. Try out smart me, huh? <laughs> hey, no feathers gonna make a... Say, what are these doing in here? This is the last straw. Just you wait. Woody, that's the last time I come over for Christmas dinner. She makes her way to the winner's box. Just in time to see Molly take home the gold. Hmm, too hard. Hmm. Ah, now this is living. <laughs> weather report. The bad news, it's 120 degrees in the new day sun. Out, ya mundo. Ow, ow, ooh, ooh, ah, ow, ooh, ee, ah, ooh, ow, ow. <laughs> but the good news, it's only 110 in the shade. So try to stay cool any way you can, baby. It is hot out here. Or is that just me in these tight trunks? Mm -hmm. It's mine. Oh, no. it's mine. <laughs> it's my shade. I got here first. I saw it before you. Fine. 
You have this shade. I'm going into the pool, you bet. Public welcome. That means me. Sorry, you can't come in here. What do you mean? The sign says public welcome. Not today. <laughs> Pool's closed for synchronized swimming practice. Well, what do you know, Coach? We're synchronized swimmers. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, uh, we're twin sons of different mothers, you bet. We do everything alike, yeah. I don't think so. Yow! Say, that's not bad. Please, please, please pretty, pretty please, please with meatballs pizza on top. top. With, with meatball pizza, pizza on top. top. Well... I could use one more swimmer on the team. Only one of you will make it and get to stay in the water, while the other one will be out on his backside in the baking hot street. Got it? Good. Go! <laughs> team trunks, towels, swim caps. Suit up, ladies. Now, let's move it and sink. <laughs> Say, Wally, help you with your cap? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Real funny, Woodpecker. Hey, no bees! Remember what I said. One of you will make the team, the other one will be out on your ear. And if I catch either of you pulling any more shenanigans, you're both out! That's our cue, girls! Walruses and woodpeckers, too!
How'd you like my big finish? It was my finish. No, mine. <laughs> Her. Yeah, who needs the pool? There's no water there anyhow. <laughs> you know, Woodpecker, together I think we're two cool cucumbers. <laughs> Sergeant, I have good news. You'll be receiving your first recruit today. Sir, thank you, sir! I trust you'll be on guard at all times. Sir, I will, sir! Nothing will get by me. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> yep, barracks are all squared away and... Hmm? What's this? Hmm, what do we have here? A pint-sized private. Hmm, must be the new recruit. A lazy recruit! <laughs> this ain't no summer camp! Pan! What? Hmm, you're a snappy dresser. But where's your uniform, little buddy? No uniform? There we go, all field dressed and ready for action. So, get on the field. Now! Move it, move it, move it! There, only working soldiers get into the barracks now, and I can't think of a better task than digging foxholes. It's a fundamental of core training. So, start digging foxholes! That boy's gonna do me proud. Solid digging. Good dirt placement? This is more of a tunnel than a foxhole. Wait a minute. You slacker! You're gonna be a hard case, I can tell. And the only way to break a hard case is with hard work. Now put on your pack and march, soldier! You need to learn discipline. So, you can't leave this area until you do this. <laughs> but let's make it a little more interesting for you. Come on, son. Show me what you got. Way to be innovative, soldier. Mmm. <laughs> Smells like the mess hall's cooking up something good today. I do not have to take this. I outrank him. You say that, soldier? Looks like a snowball, right? Well, it ain't. This is the core sacred weapon. The Skeeter Bomb. You turn this down, and ten seconds later, boom! A cloud of mosquitoes breaks out. It's the last thing the enemy would expect down here in the cold Antarctic. Skeeters. Now for a little target practice. Annihilate the targets on the firing range. This is what the core is all about. No, 
no, no, you missed the target entirely. You hit the bunker. Oh. Ah, it's coming! Get it! Get it! You're coming with me to a place where sleeping is not an option, soldier. I am gonna personally make sure you do this exercise correctly. You'll be in my sight the whole time, cause you're jumping with me. Another two miles, and we jump! Wait! What are you waiting for? Pull the car, soldier! I said pull the car! You want to sleep, huh? You'll never sleep under my command again, soldier, because there'll be nowhere left to sleep! <laughs> Sergeant Hogwash, what is the meaning of this? Be my skis. So I blow up the base, sir. You what? Guards? No more sleeping and no more having. Base kaboom. Oh, kablooey. Kablooey. <laughs> so withstanding that pig's command, I'm promoting you to base drill sergeant. I commend you on your bravery, soldier. Carry on, soldier. <laughs> uh, new recruit, P-Bear, reporting for duty, Sarge. What are my orders of the day? Yes, sir, sir. Uh, right away, sir. Thank <laughs> you. 
come out of sausage. You gotta get some to me fast. Meaty meat company. Here's your sausage, Mac. around here about, but I'm gonna deliver this pizza on time or I'm not. <laughs> Dr. Denver Dooley, pizza pie in the sky deliverologist. My van, jetpack fuel, and of course, my tip. <laughs> no money? Well, then you'll work it off. Yep, guaranteed delivery in five minutes. No problemo. What the Smarty feathers. Now deliverize that pie. I gotta remember to take them outside first. Just how I like my pizza with a view. <laughs> Cleaning is done. I feel so peaceful when everything is in its place. Hi, neighbor. Time to return some stuff I buy. Nice catch, Wally. Thanks for nothing. If you never darken my door again, it'll be too soon, Woodpecker. Come <laughs> on. 
Spring snowstorm has hit the Tri County area. Neighbors should look out for one another as this storm could last for a few weeks. Yeah. Oh, this can't happen. Oh, no, 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 weeks, no, weeks. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> for once, I agree with you, Wally. I'll go crazy in this place that long. I'll go to the rubber room. Okay, listen here, Woodpecker. If you gotta be a guest in my house, then you live by my Swedish cleanliness code, you bet. Look, I didn't ask to get stuck here either. So just don't get me involved in any of your Swedish shenanigans and you won't even know I'm here. It's a deal. This week on As the Bread Rises, Mike and Michelle realize nothing makes their love stronger than getting abducted. Wally, the TV's gone out from the storm. What will we do with no TV? I don't care what you do. <laughs> Poof! You snow more with the noisy and the messy, yeah? Must be calm. Let me just, uh, good as new. Enough with the boom boom twang. Hey, Wally, what are you doing? I'm alphabetizing all my photo slides by the articles of clothing I was wearing in each shot. I'm going to check the order if you'd like to watch. Gee, can I? Yeah, and here I am at Mount Speedmore in my checkered suit. <sighs> oh, yeah. I'll never forget this one. The National Fjord watching show where I wore my fuchsia parachute pants every day. Oh yeah, here I am at the Swedish leg waxing competition in my daisy yellow fisherman's hat. <gasps> Wait a minute, this slide is out of order. Oh no, now we gotta start at the beginning again. Yeah. Wally, buddy, I can't take it anymore. Pull yourself together, woodpecker. <laughs> Want now, Woodpecker? Wanna play sharks? Be not playing sharks. <laughs> Come on, Wally, buddy. We've been cooped up here for a week. You'll love it. The ground is the sea, and the furniture is the land. Yeah, sure. So, uh, even this coffee table is land? You are a natural. Now just stay out of the water, or else. Or else what? Or else the shark will get you. Shark? Shark! <gasps> I help you, little buddy. The only way to feed him is on his own turf. But how? I know. My childhood crib in the attic. We 
beat the shark. We beat the shark. Told you it was a great game. <gasps> Wally, look! Woohoo! Snow's gone and so am I. Oh, yoinky doinky. Come on, Wally. Think of that shark mounted over the fireplace. How about you mounted over the fireplace? That's right, folks. We've been hit with more snow. Ah, there's nothing like a little more winter to really bring people together. Boss, the culinary critic will have a review of Winnie's Big City Bistro in no time. Big City, my foot. These small town places are never like the joints in the big city. I'm sure it'll close down just like all the other restaurants do after I review them. <laughs> but enough dilly dallying. I've got a job to do. Ta da! My first day in business. It's so exciting being a restaurateur. Why, howdy and hi there. I'm so... My first customer. <laughs> Whoops, be right back. <laughs> Winnie's Big City Bistro. Hi, Betty. What? The famous culinary critic is coming here? Today? <laughs> An inside tip? Uh-huh. Always comes in disguise, but uses double initials when placing a reservation. Von for Volley Volrus. Volley Volrus? Betty, double initials. It's the critic. Fame and fortune, here I come. Mr. Volley Volrus, what a pleasure. <laughs> I want the best food, with no salt. I am terribly allergic to the salt, yeah? And I also want a window seat with clean window. One window seat with clean window and hold the salt. Coming right up. What? Right this way, Mr. Volrus, to a wonderful seat and a perfect view. Excuse me, miss! I'll be back. How do you like Winnie's Big City Bistro so far? Look at this stain. I can't eat here. Oh, no, no, please wait. Appetizers. Coming! Our appetizer of the day, sea salted calamari. I said no salt! Excuse me, I don't think I ordered this. <laughs> Gee, I, I guess if it's on you, then it's, it's, it's on us. <laughs> oh, calamari all over one customer, salt in the critic's food. Ma'am, I'm ready to order. Oh! I'll have some of this pasta. And an extra serving of garlic bread. You're not the only person in this restaurant. Have a seat and I'll be right with you. Appetizers for the most discriminating appetite. Mmm. I'd like some of the pasta I smell. Uh, of course, sir. Oh, ma'am! Here! No good pasta. Can I have some soup, please? Get one soup for you. Hey, 
citrus, there is the turf for my surf and turf. <laughs> Coming! Oh, ma'am! What? This soup could use a little salt! You got it. Citrus, I would like something else. How is your lobster? What else have you got that's good? Whoa! Try this, and this, and this, and all of this. Miss, miss, do you hear? Miss, it's too salty now. Miss! Uh, well, if that's all you have, then I'll be going. Wait, Mr. Walrus, uh, you haven't tasted, uh, my soup. You're done, dearie. Hey! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allergic to the salt! Help! Brother! Oh no! Everything is ruined! Help! This is the Big City Bistro! I've blown up the culinary critic! What are you talking about? I'm the culinary critic! I wore this disguise so I could get in partial service, which I must say, I have. <gasps> You're the critic? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry for the way mm. I've treated you. Where's the fire? In my eyes, that's where. I'll give you water, you no good critic and bully. Oh, 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 oh. If there's anything I can do to make this up to you, Free dessert! Your own special reserve table! The truth is, I I was just working as hard as I could for a good review. And a good review you'll get. What? This place is amazing! It has all the hustle, the bustle, and the pesky patrons of the best big city restaurants. You liked it? The atmosphere was authentic. I can see the review now. Culinary critic raves. Winnie's Big City Bistro is perfect for people wanting a taste of the big city in their own backyard. Customers will be lining around the block. Newsflash, everybody. It's romantic. It's authentic. Daddy, it's you're not going to believe what happened. I'm a hit. <laughs> trip to a state park, home of our gentle forest friends. Do not feed the bears. Do not talk to the bears. Do not even think about bears. Huh? Do not put up a fight. Hey, I'm driving here, bub. No, I'm driving here. stole my car. Big L. We'll finally put him away when you testify at the trial tomorrow, Mr. Woodpecker. But I can't testify! Big L could have friends. We promise to keep you safe and under police protection. I can't do it, man! I think you'll find the safe house accommodations aren't too shabby. Woohoo! Beauty calls. Take care of the witness. <laughs> hey, buddy. Wanna play concentration? Soon as I sink this shot, Ossifer. Yep, I'm as safe as a bug in a rug with all this protection. Four! <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, buddy. So, uh, you ready to lose your shorts? <laughs> Oh, 
I'll go first. Yeah, you will. Are you okay? was Big Al sending a message? Do you think that was meant for me? You gotta protect me! Yeah, a nice scary sound like that'll keep him away. You cleaning the pool so we can swim? This algae's murder. We need some pool toys. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Wow! Securing the perimeter. I feel safer already. It's just me. Complimentary fruit from the precinct. Oh, how thoughtful. End of my shift. See ya, buddy. <gasps> That's no fruit basket. Let me out! Shut off. Christians to detonation. Kiss yourself goodbye. It's for you. No, you. No, you. Fine. gonna be the first witness I've ever missed. I'm the best there is in the business. I have no equal. There is none greater than I. Would you get the door, please? <laughs> Your Honor, that's the guy who stole my car. And that's the guy he hired to make sure I didn't make it here to say that's the guy who stole my car. This is a oh, tissue of lies. Can you prove he tried to stop you from getting here today, Mr. Woodpecker? <laughs> Exhibit A. Need I say more? What do you learn? It would be a pleasure to testify against him at the next trial. Trial is set for a week from tomorrow. Of course, we're going to have to put you in another safe house, Woody. No problemo. And here's the one I want. Yep, a guy could get used to this kind of justice. <laughs>